people are lining up for this, you guys. Look, this is the new buffet that just opened up in City of Industry, California, and I cannot wait to try it. The outside looks very clear, it is a jet force. So this place is a Chinese um, buffet, and I think they also feature a hot pot and stuff. So yeah, people are going crazy for this. Let's go inside and check it out. But seriously, this line is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. The first thing is right when you come in, you see seafood, all different kinds of rolls. They're being freshly made in the back right there. Wow, these actually look really nice. And then of course, all the Asians are going crazy for all this. Seafood, we got escargot, we got shrimps. Oh, there's also desserts here. Yeah. And king crabs. Oh, wow, this is really cute. I've never seen a buffet with such a cute pastry section like this. Usually they're like really like cheap looking desserts, but this cake looks really nice. What is that? It looks like a cheesecake. And then, okay, back over here. Braised duck. Wow, we got braised duck. <gasps> it's, oh, I thought that was... Oh wait, no, that is duck. Why does it say braised cuttlefish? But yeah, that looks like duck. Oh my gosh, I love duck so much. So we're definitely getting, gonna try some of that. And then little shrimpies, chicken feet, and pea salad. And over here we got different fruits. I like the way to display everything too. Like it's more of, um, it looks less buffet kind of and looks like more gourmet. They also have a ramen bar and BBQ station. So the ramen bar, you get to choose different flavors. Oh wow, they're making it in the back right there. That's so cool. Okay, so this looks more like buffet buffet. We have, it features dim sum, and also like soft shell crab, all the fried foods. And then we got soups. Yeah, this looks more like the typical Chinese buffet, but smells really good. I'm getting really hungry walking around. Oh. How are you? Hello. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. And then we got a sauce station. I'm Chinese, yeah. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> and then, oh, okay, so they also have hot pot. So this place is all the hot pot ingredients. So I think this is really cute. I've never seen like a buffet and also like hot pot combo. These are such cute dishes. They're loading it all up. We got all types of seafood too. Oh, how cute, look. Their pineapple fried rice is actually plated in a fried rice. There's egg tarts, fishies. What is this? Oh, frog leg. They even have frog leg here. Salt and pepper beef looks good. Yeah, but there, there is just so much freaking food, you guys. That's crazy. All right, yeah, and it is packed. Look how packed it is. Alright, so I checked all over at that part. We're back over here. This is just more sushi. I just want to like have an overview of everything before I get started getting some plates. So it looks like this is more fishies and oh, this is like cold dishes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's get some food. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Alright guys, so, and also on the table, I didn't even get any food yet because I'm busy walking around looking at everything, but on the table you can also choose what type of hot pot you want. There's six different flavors and that's what all the hot pot ingredients are for, so that's really crazy. Never seen this much diverse of a food for a buffet. Also, I didn't catch this earlier, but I think this is hilarious. A lot of like Chinese translations is just so lost within the language. Um, this They call this saliva chicken, but this is cold sweet tea, and I think the better translation for this is probably mouth-watering chicken, not saliva chicken. It's kind of unappetizing when I see it as a saliva chicken. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get a ramen here, and I think you just take the number of you want. So I'm gonna get some tonkatsu ramen. Actually, looks really legit. Wow. Ooh, look at all this barbecue they're making. It actually looks so good. We got salmon, a short ribs. Wow. I'm trying the ramen out first because I don't want it to just soak here and then the noodles are gonna get way too soggy. Mm. The broth is actually really legit. And we're trying the noodles. Oh wow, that's actually really good. Oh. 
Okay. Try to shoot. They got the, I got the really bad piece. This piece is like extra tough. I can't, I can't even bite it. I think mine's just burnt, but it's okay. The ramen itself is actually really good. Mm. If it didn't have that tarshu piece, I would give this like an 8 out of 10. But because of the tarshu piece, it's like a 6 out of 10. I'm pretty sure I just got a bad piece. I'll give the benefit of the doubt. Alright, so the first plate, we're featuring dim sum and some fried food. This is for the mai. The sushi is not bad here. Mmm. That is pretty good. Wow. So these ones are actually really good. There's a mango one, and then a custard one, and then my favorite one is this one. This one's a salted yolk. Salted egg yolk one. <coughs> That's delicious. Huh? My god. I also got a piece of salt. Look at me. Lobbying. Different lobbying. Oh. I can see why this is like everybody was crowding over this. This also crowd is actually really good. Hot and sour soup. Not bad. Oh, the social crap is good. Yeah, yeah. Well. All right, so now we're, I'm gonna try out some of the broth. My dad got the uh, pork bone broth. It's really cool that they have pot here. He had a lot of seafood in here. Let me try the broth. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean pork bone is like supposed to be more plain, but it has a really nice like umami flavor. And then I got a plate of sushi. This is the, this is the saliva chicken. Just, mm, that's really good. I, I know what cold cold sweet tea is. It's like spicy and chili, lots of flavor. And I heard their sushi is really good. Mm. Mm. Wow. I had to get another piece of their sasha crab. Delicious. I'm a big, big fan of the duck, so I think I'm gonna go back and get more of that one. It's very punchy. Mm. Why not? And this is try. Yeah, the cow stuff. Why are you eating noodles here? <laughs> huh? Why are you eating noodles here? Right, I'm so excited to try this plate out. It's a pork belly. Pork. Mm. Oh, this is yummy. No, cold soy tea means mouth watering. It's not saliva chicken. Cold soy means like it's. It is saliva, but like when you put it together like that, the correct way is mouth watering chicken. Yeah. This is very good. Not <coughs> very hot, be careful. Mm -hmm. Again, and I should have come. We would have loved it. Yeah, I know. When I saw it, I knew they would have loved it. Mm -hmm. When I saw the pictures, I knew they would have loved it. Mm. The hot pot soup is actually really good.
You remember that break? Alright, that was good. Let's keep going. I'm going back to get more food. I, I need more of that duck and also the saliva chicken. I, I like, I, I'm not made fun of it, but the saliva chicken is actually really, really good. Another plate, and this is just like all meat. I got more of my saliva chicken. More of the duck. Actually, um, we got massive short ribs. Yeah. 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 I'm of the dog too. If you were there. Mm. The barbecue is actually so good. I really like their soup. Their soup's really good. The soup also helps, like, makes all the food go down. That's why I drink hot water when I do food stuff. It just helps your stomach digest. seafood person so I really didn't care too much about the seafood but the barbecue is amazing. Mm. Oh, god. oh my god yes yes it's a new order of pork belly oh my god I'm so excited yes All right, yeah, I think this is my last plate, so I'm gonna enjoy it. But I, this is freshly plate of pork belly, and I got it with French fries. Dude, it's so good, pork belly with rice. Okay, this is classic. I got to put some green onions on there, make it look all fancy. Mm. Good. Thank you. Thank you.
啊！不用吃饱了已经。You like the soup, huh? Yeah, the bomb soup is good. 可以喝了，可以喝了，没有生的可以喝啊！我跟你说，我们这样子嘛。Yes, it's special set. I got my egg cards. I got my desserts. So remember how I said when I first saw the desserts, the mango cake looks good. The mango cake is good. Yes, the mango cake. It's really nice and soft. <laughs> this is like a white chocolate cookie. My mom will also have So the Chinese name is like a white chocolate cookie. She's hiccuping already. My sister is. The good part of the dance class. A mango, mango cake. It's good. I think for the price, it's really good. It's $36 per person on weekends. It's pretty good price, Baba. Mm -hmm. It's thirty six dollars per person on weekends. It's pretty good price. That is great price. Yeah. That is great price. Yeah. Wow, wow. You should come here again with Anna. Are they gonna come? Are they gonna come back? They're not coming back, are they? They might come visit us. Who knows? Okay. Well, that's why I wanted them to come today because I know they would like it. Mm. All right, guys. So I just got done, and there are still people lining up. Ooh. Ooh. Look, there's still people lining up and sitting down. That is crazy. One hour away for this buffet. It is totally worth it. Forty dollars, uh, thirty-nine dollars per person on the weekends. Really good deal, and the amount of variety that you get here is definitely worth. It. So definitely check this place out. That pork belly is amazing. Try it out. Let them know I sent you. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.